G'day mate, and welcome back to Factorio with me, JD. So, this episode we're going to finish off production science. Now, we've already got the electric furnaces and the productivity modules. They're right here on a nice, nice combined belt, ready to feed into our production science. But the last thing we need is we need rail. Now, rail is... It's a fairly easy recipe, but it's also a nightmare if you want to ratio it correctly. Um, which is something I really want to do. So, we're going to get our three components. Uh, well, two components. So, we need to make iron sticks. And we also need to make rail. So, rail needs stone and steel plate, which are easy. And then it needs an iron stick. And we get two rail every half a second. This guy outputs two iron stick every half a second. So by logical assumption, one of these can run two of these. So if we bring iron into this machine, um, he can then run this one. Uh, is that right? Yep. And this one without any hassles whatsoever. Um, but then we've still got to get stone in and we've got to get steel plate in. So that gives us a lack of room of inserters basically. So what I'm going to try and do is we're going to set up our production line and we're going to do things a little bit differently this time around. Um, oh, and ratios again. We will double check our production science. So we need 30 rail every 21 seconds right, um, to run seven assemblers. Yeah, is that right? I really hope that's right. Um, no, we need 10 rail because we've got to divide it by three. Uh, I have a feeling I've messed up my ratio. Uh, I don't know, but rail is one of those things we are going to overproduce anyway. So what I want to, I want to, what I want to do is I want to rearrange everything a second time, a third time. So I've still got it wrong. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Select rail, select rail. Okay. So we need to get in an iron, a, a, a Iron stick, which we've already done. Plus, we want to get in a steel plate and a piece of stone. Uh, and we've got to get iron into this guy. So, I'm going to put down my build like this. And then we're going to use some of the fancy tricks that we have accessible to us to get iron moved sideways using a splitter. To then input into this machine, uh, if we put down some power poles, because this flashing is already getting to me. Uh, there, there. Hook that up. That way, hopefully, it stops complaining. Um, so, we're going to bring iron in straight down the middle. We're going to have a splitter move it sideways to feed it into this machine, and then output into a splitter to again move it sideways to input into this machine. Our train tracks, we are going to input uh, steel and stone on one side, and then we're going to output our train tracks on the other side. So I'm going to use a fast inserter and a fast inserter, uh, which means, oops, uh, copy that, that will be preset with the recipe. And then again, I'm going to use splitters to come down like this. Uh, there. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, to bring in my steel and my stone. Okay, that power pole is going to be in our way. But we can pop it over there instead. So let's go get our steel and our stone before we do anything else. We're just going to ghost that in for the moment so we know where our straight line is. 
Uh, let's empty these bricks off this belt, which means this belt's full of bricks as well, which was our earlier mistake from last episode that I haven't fixed yet, because literally started recording this one after we finished the last one. Is that all of it? That was meant to have bricks on it. Here we go. That's the one I want. Okay. So we know we want a splitter there. Assuming we want to carry stone forward. Honestly, we don't need to. Um, this is the only thing that needs stone. But in the spirit of good bussingness, uh, we will carry it forward. Uh, clear off those. Clear off those. Uh, put that one down, put that one down, put that one down. So that's going to be stone, which I actually want to take like that. Because I still need to get steel. And steel, we can literally just plop a splitter right there which will feed half on the other side of the belt. Where's the rest of the stone? There is no stone because it's all being used by these guys and we're just not producing enough. We're actually really, really running out of stone. Uh, I'm gonna use upgrade planner to upgrade those, Ooh. to upgrade those guys all to, well, I just want them upgraded to yellow belt, uh, to red belt actually. Do not try upgrading the other ones to blue belt because we don't have blue belt technology. Uh, okay, so we got steel uh, and iron. Iron's the other item we needed. We just got a one tile gap. So we'll come forward, one tile. Hook that in there. that straight down to there all right so that'll give us steel uh, stone in and iron in along with steel in the only other thing I need to do is I obviously need to whatever's on this side bring it over to that side so now it's already down here in the right combination we can split it and then bring it across to the other side and then we can put our rail out on the outside. Now, rail is one of those things you need for science. You also need a fair bit of it just to make rail tracks around the network, uh, around the around the map. Now, rail is probably the most efficient way. Well, it actually, you've got three modes of transport really. You have robots, which is something we unlocked earlier, and you can see how slow they are. Um, obviously, adding more robots to a smaller network will help, and then you have a higher throughput. So robots are actually really, really effective at moving really high throughput items a real, really short distance. They are not designed for long distance transport. Um, going from here to here is absolutely ridiculous because they'll have to keep, you know, they'll fly literally, you know, some idiot over here will literally try and fly his way right across here, get eaten on the way through, assume he doesn't get eaten, he'll fly halfway across here and they go, I, I need to recharge. And he may go all the way back to here to pick up a recharge, because that happens to be the closest robo port to him, to fly halfway across again, to then have to go up to here to recharge, to then come down to here, okay? Robots are really, really, really bad at long distance. They are very, very good at high throughput, short distance. Extremely good at that. The next thing we have is belts, okay? Belts are very good at medium throughput, which is basically what we've been using them for. Let's get rid of that because that'll be annoying. Um, medium, medium throughput, medium distance. Now, these stone and copper patches are actually close enough. I could just belt them down to the base. It wouldn't be unreasonable in the slightest. Um, and I could do that very, very easily, but because we, we're doing tutorial series, I wanna set up trains. Trains are very good at medium to high throughput, long distance. Trains can travel very, very long distances, very, very fast. 
So I want to automate trains. One for science. Two, I really want them automated because we are going to end up using them for um, high throughput, uh, or high throughput, high distance items, um, like all our ores. So I'm just going to ghost this down, reconnecting our bits of missing blueprint. And then because of the way this is done, this is outputting on the right hand side. This is obviously going to output on the left hand side. I'm literally going to merge these two together. Um, now ratios. Ratios was something I was stumbling in with last episode. So we need... We need a lot. We need 30 rail every 21 seconds. And you produce two, four, six, eight every half a second. So you're actually producing 16. So this would be producing 32. Yep, that seems about right. Uh, we're literally just going to pick a research that hopefully takes us a little while to get this built. Okay, so if that's correct, this, this produces 32 per second which is more than enough all i have to do is combine these two belts together to get all the rails on one belt and we're going to side load this one onto the the top side of this one which already has the other rail on the bottom side so that's that done um and then we literally just need somewhere for the purple science to go which we've already pre-calculated needs seven inserters uh, seven assemblers oops cannot put them where you're standing jd so that is seven I'm going to set the recipe and then do uh, insertion. Uh, more insertion. Uh, there, there, and there. Uh, power poles there and there with a little power pole up here just to get rid of it. Uh, our two input belts so that's going to be our input belt for um, modules and um, electric furnaces and oops that's going to be our one for rails so I just need to join that up with that one course bring our power back to an existing power network okay our output would probably also be important that power pole that got in the way before is in the way again and output so we want there there and there Oop. there bring the output belt down and that'll go over to where our science labs are um, in the meantime so I want to put a splitter down here and we're going to do same as we've done before we're going to filter the output um, and I'm just going to pick one on one side so this will automatically move all the furnaces to one side of the belt and therefore just let whatever's on the other side of the belt in this case being productivity modules forward we're going to want two of these uh, with a couple of inserters. And I'm going to cap these fairly low at two stacks each. That's probably more than enough. Uh, and then I need to do how hold your horses, please. I'm trying to look for re I'm trying to trying to do stuff. Uh, let's just do another one of those. And then I want to do whoop, the exact same with the railways. Um, the difference with the railway is I'm actually not going to cap that chest at all. I'm going to let it run because in the case of that one, we are going to use, if this fills up and rail stacks in stacks of 100, which is 4.8K, 4 4,800 rails, if this fills up, chance out, you're going to use it. You're going to use it and then some. Do I have, can I craft? I can craft. I do have, that's even better. 
These guys are literally out by like a tile. Okay. And I'm not requesting inserters or inserters. So we need to start requesting those. We'll actually also request power poles. Done. So you guys are waiting on stone, which is just, we don't have nearly enough excess stone production. And what brick we have is getting used fairly aggressively by these guys. So let me dump my stone into these guys and hopefully that'll keep them at bay. Steel is not looking healthy either. Nope. Uh, our little steel build that could no longer could because again, it's running out of raw resources. So we've got some whale. We've got uh, some purple science running. But the real thing we've demonstrated is how poor on resources we actually are. So, our science. We have two science packs on this belt, and we have two science packs on this belt, which now means if we want to add more science, we really actually need to have a third belt for our sciences. Um, because we can only have two items shared per belt. So, I'm going to very, very quickly, very, very hopelessly just lay in another belt. It doesn't have to be neat. It's, it's more of a guideline than anything else because this science here will have to go around the top of the lake, so about there, uh, and come down about there, and then, uh, nope, that lines up with the pipe. Can I go one more tile further? I can. That needs to go in there, roughly. Roughly, roughly. Okay. So, because robots cannot build all this area, because I, I know for sure that a lot of it's going to be outside their build zone. Uh, that's the wrong direction, but that's okay. We're going to lay in the belt for them. I'm using red belt because that's what I happen to have in my personal inventory. Um, honestly, yellow belt is more than enough for this little project. run forth and place these belts. No. There to there. We can we're now more than rich enough we can actually go over. Rover ports and other things that are under uh, under rover ports and other things are getting our way now without any worry about the actual cost in raw resources because our base is further developed. Even though we're extremely poor with some items, we, we generally have enough with what we've got. Mm, yellow belt. Come on, it's got to be an end to this. Oop, I'm out of yellow belt. Uh, wrong button. All right, we'll start replacing things with red belt again. That goes there. This popped in. Uh, okay, that's what happens when you don't pay attention and you ghost things randomly halfway across the map. Uh, okay. So I need to reach this far outside belt. So what we're going to do is we're going to underground right the way along. Um, as the yellow inserters are the only ones actually using from the outside belt. And we can start doubling up our longhand inserters wherever possible to start bringing purple science in. Um, not that I've seen a single pot output this whole time, but you know, 
In theory, they exist somewhere. Uh, that can go be recycled. That can be recycled. Inventory transfers. I have no idea what that tutorial is, but okay. Um, and according to this, military science is actually lacking. Uh, we want follow Rambo count three because why not? Military, military, military has more than enough. It just seems to be very slow. No, it's backed up. Okay, maybe it's not slow. It just looks to be. Okay, so we have production science automated. Um, the real thing I need now is I need more stone into the base and I need some dedicated ways of getting trains on those tracks, moving stuff around, starting with stone. Um, a dedicated stone supply would be wonderful, along with a dedicated copper, because one of the things slowing down red science is a lack of copper on this copper belt. Um, plastic's not healthy either, but that's an entirely separate problem and a separate part of the map. And steel's not happy, which is iron. So we need to... We need to tap these three, probably because they're the closest to one another. Um, feed them into our smelters. At the same time, I probably need to tap this copper and this iron, along with some coal, because that wouldn't hurt either. So we need to really, really, really step up our, our production um, and get a whole bunch of stuff done. So I'm going to physically, manually dump stone into a lot of these. Uh, and some iron, uh, some steel, because I happen to have a heap laying around. You're waiting for steel, which I didn't bother putting an inserter in on. So that will explain why you're not working. But Purple Science is outputting. Any spare train tracks made are going to go in here. We have a grand total of two so far. Um, but we've got lots of electric furnaces and lots of productivity modules. So now we've got rails going properly, um, we should be in a better position. Um, okay. So this is where I'm going to leave this episode. Next episode, we're actually going to start over here with planning some way of unloading trains, um, along with going on, uh, over the discussion about trains and how they work. Um, actually, one more thing we will do is we'll actually automate signaling for trains. Um, signals are one of those things you're going to go through a fair bit of. So we should probably get in, automate it whilst we can. Um, we're lucky enough that they're fairly simple recipes with just some iron plate and some circuits and some iron plate and some circuits. So our little make almost everything should have no problem at all getting this done for us. Um... Uh, the only issue I have is it's way up the bus. It's here. Uh, one, two, no. Mm. No, no, no. Uh... Okay, mm, iron is there, so let's underground from there to there. Uh, we'll split that off, we'll run that way. We'll actually also split that off, run it into the other half. So now we have our two prerequisite items. We're going to go with inserter, inserter, nothing flashy here. Output, output. Uh, couple of chests. Again, you're going to go through a lot of signals, so I'm going to count them both to 200. Uh, add power. You're going to do 
this signal and you're going to do this signal now the other train item that we end up using is a train stop this is one of those few items i do i i do not ever bother automating it um or very 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 rarely only if it's a very 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 large map purely because i can actually stack more train stops in my inventory if i carry the raw components which i probably carry anyway rather than carrying a final output item being a train stop and they take half a second to craft um and they only stack in 10 so they're, they're a very hard item to carry around um signals are one of those things you end up using thousands of them so you're much better to fully automate them as soon as possible um but yeah that's where we're going to leave this episode next episode we're going to go and hopefully fix our stone problem along with some unloaders and some train tracks. So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye.